Hey y'all, Missy here. I am going to show you how to sublimate a pen. All right, we've been asked a lot for this, so I wanted to take a little bit of time to do this, all right? Um, we have one of our pens. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> okay, thank you, Gabe. Um, we have our pens here. We have our shrink wrap, and then I have a design that I made um, that's going to be going on the website, okay? Your pens come wrapped like this. You just pop it out of the wrap, okay? And the first thing I recommend doing is knowing where your pen is at because this part here doesn't change or move or slide. So where your design, you need to check where your design, you want your design to go before you take your pen apart, okay? So... I'm going to say I like it like that. So I'm going to remember that I need to do it to the side of where this part will be. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So what you do is unscrew the top just like this. And then your insides are going to pop out. Okay. You're going to have your pen part, your spring, and your spring might come off and that's okay. And then you're going to take this part off. So you just pull it. Take a finger here and a finger here and you pull it. Now, you see this line here shows you where this sits. So, when you're doing your um, wrap, you'll know where that goes, okay? So, this is where your black piece is at. So, you take your little transfer that you have here, and it is the tiniest transfer. It's like a little over four inches um, and a little over one inches. The size is on the website. All right, and then you just line it up, okay? So... If it's better, you can do it this way so you can see exactly where it's going to be. And then if you, if you have words, if you don't have words, then you don't have to worry about it. All right. And you just fold it over just like that. Okay. Now what you need to do is take you a piece of tape. Okay. You're, this is basically just like a tumbler. So grab you a piece of tape. Now, you can wrap it like this, or you can wrap it like this. I'm going to do it like this just to get it on there. And you can take, like, a half a piece of tape. It doesn't have to be a whole piece. I could have cut some down. Let me grab these scissors. I'll cut one. Cut this off a little bit so it doesn't go all the way around it. But you can make it go all the way around if you want. I'm going to use the other piece. Then you take another piece of tape. Tuck your, tuck your paper underneath there, okay? There's a little little bit of paper there you want to tuck up underneath there okay just tuck it just like that okay i'm going to use these scissors to cut my tape in half again all right then i'm going to do now what i'm doing is i'm putting the tape on there i'm tucking it and i'm pulling it tight this is the same method i do for my tumblers okay and it's perfect all right, so then what you want to do is you want to take tape and run it down it, okay? So take you either a long piece of tape or a bunch of your um, regular tape here and just run it down it and press it. Now, this is my method. There might be other methods out there, but this is how I even do my tumblers, and my tumblers look really, really good. So um, I just actually pressed one a little bit ago for a friend of mine for Christmas. So this is the same method I use, okay? Now I'm going to cut off this little piece of tape that I have right here. And I'm gonna leave this one, okay? Now take your little shrink wrap here that you have. It is the smallest shrink wrap in the world. <laughs> Open it up and stick your pen through there. Okay, now your shrink wrap is a little longer than your pen, and what I did the other day, we'll see if it works again, is you see this piece of tape I have here? I took this, and I just did like a little tiny cut on both sides, so then when I'm done, I can try to put, peel it back and see if it'll just come off. Okay, so now you have the shrink wrap on, you get your heat gun, okay? If you don't have one, you can pick these up at um, Amazon, Lowe's, um, Harbor Freight. Just turn it on. It's going to blow everywhere. And then just shrink wrap your little tiny pin.
Okay, and it's ready to go in the oven. So now I pressed, I did mine in the oven for 375 for five minutes, okay? So I did it 375, I heated up in the oven, and I let it go for two and a half minutes, and then I flipped it over like that and did it another two and a half minutes. Now that's just my method. You don't have to do that. That's the same thing I do with my tumblers also. Um, but this is all you have to do, okay? Um, when you stick it in the oven, you cook it for the time you need it to cook for, and then you take it out and you take it apart. We're going to stop this video while it's cooking in the oven, and then I will come back when we're going to take it apart and show you how to put it back together. All right, y'all, we're back from the oven now. Um, and if you can see, it's the shrink wrap. You can see the design through it. Here's your little tape that I did. And so we're going to give this a shot and see if it pulls it completely off. So I got my gloves on so my hands don't get burnt. Oh, almost. It pulled it. Oh, almost. So close. All right, let me see if I can pull one glove off. It's cooled down a little bit, so. Oh, it's so close to making it. Okay, there. There's the rest of it. Now, so you just um, pull your the rest of your shrink wrap off. I know other groups um, don't include the shrink wrap with their pens. I'm not sure why, because when I purchase my pens from my supplier, it comes with the shrink wrap. So if it comes with it, you guys are getting it. I'm not charging you extra for it. Um, one of I didn't even know that was a such thing until one of my regular customers said, "I'm so glad you got these because I get them somewhere else and they charge me." more than your pens and then they charge me extra for the shrink wrap so i don't get it uh, okay it's cooled down enough so let me all right so i'm just trying to get the rest of this shrink wrap off it didn't pull off exactly how i wanted it to come on when I, of course the when i do the the how-to video i have a difficulties but when i did my own I didn't. <laughs> I did the tape method and it just came straight off. Okay. And it is like on there, on there. I shouldn't have let it cool down probably. I let it cool down some so I could touch it. Goodness. I cannot. I don't have fingernails like most girls. So I can't get a good grip on it on the paper there I got some oh of course my luck I'm trying to find a space where I could get a good grip on it I can feel I got the tape wrapped around too too much of it too I can't even just put you a small piece of tape don't wrap it all the way around I almost completely closed the tape in. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to stop until I get it. I need fingernails. There's a piece right there. See, I grab it and then the piece, oh, it chips off like that. I got a bigger piece. Nope, chipped off. I, I need to stop getting excited. Here's the tape. I'm trying to peel just... Okay, I got a piece of the tape. Woo! There we go. There we go. If you can get a hold of your tape, you're good to go. But, like I said, do not wrap the tape all the way around like I did. Because that's one of the things. See, if you see my tape is all the way around... So, uh, I'm having to try to figure out where it's taped at. Don't do that. Don't wrap yours all the way. I mean, like, literally, when I say small, do, like, that small. <laughs> do tiny. Because I do not. Or, unless you just want to pick at it like I'm having to. I'm trying to find the tape now. See, so you see the... I'm just trying to find the clear tape. 
Where does it end? There's a piece of clear tape here and a piece of clear tape here. It wrapped all the way around. I thought I had cut it short enough. Come off. I know a good way I can get it off, but I don't want to use no sharp object. So I'm trying to find the the beginning or the end. I think I found it. Yep. Okay. Or I'm not gonna get too excited yet. Yes. Woo! One to go. This video is turning out to be longer than I expected. And I'm still posting this video because this is how you know not to do what I did. Now I'm just trying to find it on the side. I think it might be right here. Maybe. Alright. Yep. Found it. Alright. There's your pen. And hopefully you ha you don't tape it like I did and you have better luck. Okay, let me show you what I mean by the tape. I had a long piece, even though I had cut it. And I had wrapped it around all the way. So it was overlapping. Don't do that, okay? Take you a small piece like this. So when you're taping it, it's only wrapped halfway. And you're going to think you need bigger than you do, but you don't. See, that will be always halfway. So then you're not getting lost like I just did. All right. So there we go. Now let's put it back together. Okay. So take your this piece right here and find this little slit and stick it in there. Okay. It's going to be just like that. You see it? Okay. You know it's in there when it sits flush. Okay. Then you're going to take your pen part and you're going to stick it down in there. Make sure your spring is on. Then you're going to take your topper and you're gonna put your topper on just like that okay and then it's done and see how perfect the words turned out where I, that's where I wanted it to be and that's perfect and this is the leopard print wild one design it's one of my designs um, I'm gonna be making a little bit of a bundle of these so you can grab the design all right guys blanks on MSS blanks.com mssblanks.com and the designs are also i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please let me know